Oh, wow, you actually clicked. Um, <clears throat> hello and welcome. I'm the Dungeoneer. You're probably wondering, why am I not drawn like that guy? I don't know. What are you going to do about it? Today, I wanted to talk to you about mental health. It's good from time to time to open your head up, pull your brain out, see how it's doing. Why am I bringing this up, you ask? Well, I have a sneaking suspicion that some of you might be in need of help. Our brains are extraordinary, but unfortunately, a little flawed. A way to look at it is that we are spiritual beings experiencing life through a physical form. It's a lot like The Sims, actually. We guide ourselves through life, we wake up, we eat food, and then we go to work. But there are times where we mess with ourselves without even realizing it. Stop deleting the toilet! As for me, I've been dealing with depression and anxiety for a long time. The craziest part was I didn't even realize anything was wrong. It kind of started back in 2014 when I decided to quit my full-time job to start making animations on YouTube. Although I had some success here and there, the lack of financial stability led to feelings of doubt and weakness. All of my friends seemed to be moving forward with their lives, securing good jobs, buying houses, and getting married. And then there was me, the cartoon guy. I had nothing to show for my years of work on YouTube, and because of that, stress began to mount. Which leads me to the next part of the story. I began developing unhealthy coping mechanisms to deal with the stress. The first was spending money I didn't have. I felt embarrassed about my lack of success, so I would buy expensive things in order to keep up this illusion that I was having success on YouTube. This obviously just led to more stress and only deepened my anxiety and depression. The second coping skill was overeating. The damage of this was twofold because I was wasting money and gaining weight. Not only did this drastically further my depression, but it also hurt my self-esteem. And another problem that I developed in this time, and one that my therapist will never let me forget about, is catastrophizing. This is where you ignore the evidence of the situation and immediately jump to the worst possible outcome. As an animator, I use exaggeration a lot in my sense of humor, but I found that I was also using it to create these unrealistic situations in my mind about my own future. Typically, this just causes more stress and worrying. With all of these factors weighing on me, I finally turned to isolation. I didn't want to be around anyone because I was embarrassed of myself. I projected a lot of my insecurities onto other people, and because of it, I ruined a lot of friendships. The reason I'm telling you all this is because I recently hit 100,000 subscribers, and I definitely wouldn't have reached that number if I hadn't started going to therapy. Even at the beginning of therapy, I thought, ah, I'm fine, maybe I really don't even need to be here. But then my therapist asks, are you tired all the time? Yeah. Do you find it hard to focus? Yeah. Do you find no enjoyment to the things you used to enjoy? Uh, yeah. Well, guess what, buddy? You're depressed! <laughs> Having a professional tell me this was like, What? <laughs> it was like everything in the past 10 years just suddenly had new context. And from there, I could identify the issues that had been contributing to my depression, and I could work towards fixing them. Because of this process, I feel the best mentally and physically that I've ever felt in my entire life. The reason I wanted to make this video is to let people know that it's okay to ask for help, whether it be therapy or just asking to speak to a friend. I obviously overwhelmingly advocate going to therapy, but I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not a professional. I'm not even a professional artist. I mean, look at the, what is that? Oh, God. To everyone watching this, just take everything I said into consideration. Each and every one of you deserves to be happy. And to the people who feel lost and hopeless, just remember, you will have people in your life who love you and care about you. Just some of them you haven't met yet. If you are interested, please call 988 or check out 988lifeline.org. From there, you can find many resources for mental health treatment. Well, that's all I've got. I'm the Dungeoneer. Thank you so much for 100,000 subs. And here's to 100,000 more.